In today's DIY, we're making a large gold wall art. We're using Dollar Tree plates for this wall art, and we're also using poster board from the Dollar Tree, along with shelf liners. So let's begin with the gold design for the center of our plates. They look like little shells. So in order to get that look, I'll be using my Elmer's Cool Glue, and I'll use quarter cup, and I'll mix my Elmer's Cool Glue with a quarter cup of water and that way the glue will be thin enough so my poster board can absorb it. I'm just going to take my compass and I'm going to make circles based on the sizes of my plates. Um, making different circles I made six large ones because I used six larger plates and then the rest of them I made random sizes. I'm just going to use my scissors to cut out each circle and then go around the edge with a wavy pattern. You can use one of those wavy zigzag scissors if you have one and that will be much easier. Thank you so much for clicking on today's video. If it's your first time here, my name is Nisi. The channel is Budget Friendly Creations. If you like DIY on a budget, you may want to consider subscribing so you'll get weekly notifications when I upload a new video. And at the end of this video, if you like it, please let me know that you do by leaving me a thumbs up and or a comment. And I'll appreciate that. Thank you. And this is how that should look and you can make as many as you'd like. I made 30 of them, so now I'll show you how to soak them. And you just want to submerge them in the glue and just make sure that there's enough glue between each one so they won't stick together and make sure to only use white poster board because the other colors for some reason I'm not sure if it's the dye that they use in them but they do not stay firm so you're going to let that sit for about five minutes and then I'll use some empty water bottles and that's what I'll be using to shape my shells. So I'm just going to take them out of the glue one at a time. And by this they should be feeling like soft leather. So I'm just going to squeeze out the excess glue. And then you'll see the shinier side. One side will be rough and the other side will be smooth. The smooth side is the one that we're going to turn down on top of the water bottle. Because that's the side that we're going to be painting. And I'm just going to place it over the water bottle and mold it. Whichever way you put it to dry, that's how it stays. So let's do another one. And remember we're turning down the side that is smooth. And just place it on top of the water bottle and mold it. If you have sunlight outside, it may take four hours, but you can leave it overnight to dry. So now they should be nice and firm, and I'm going to be using my tacky glue to create the veins. And I'm just going to use a firm painter's brush, and I'll just brush the tacky glue all over. And I'll do about three or four of them and then the tacky glue should start getting tacky by the time I'm done with the fourth one and then I'll start to draw my veins.
and you can use a pencil or a skewer I'm just going to use this painter's pencil and I'm just going to draw straight lines from the base going up and I'm just wiping off the excess tacky glue so it won't mess up the new lines And then it should look like this and just place them to dry. Now they're all dried and these are my plates. I ended up using two packs of the smaller ones and one pack of the larger one. Now it's time to apply my shelf liners to my plates. And to these plates, since they're already white in the center, I'm just going to be using my 3M spray adhesive and I'll just saturate the plate and then apply my shelf liner to them. After you apply the spray adhesive, you want to wait about a minute or two so it can start getting tacky before you apply the shelf liners. So you can spray about four plates and by the time you're done spraying the fourth one, then it's time to apply that shelf liner. You just want to start pressing it in from the center and then work your way out. Then I'll just use my scissors to cut off the excess. And for the smaller plates, I spray paint them white with my Rust-Oleum spray paint. And I'm also using this Gorilla Spray Adhesive. I think it's the same thing as a 3M, they both smell the same way and they work the same way to me. So after you place your tacky glue to dry, then you can start painting your shells. And I'm using this Folk Art Metallic Pure Gold. And I'm just using light brush strokes in the same direction as my veins. And that's it one coat is good enough and after the paint they're still nice and firm and now it's just time to apply them to our plates and for this I'll be using just hot glue and I'll just place the glue in the center of the plate and I have three different sizes and I'll pick the size that I want to put in my plate and just press it in
and on the back I'll be using thumbtacks and I'll just place a dot of hot glue just enough and place the thumbtack in the center and that's enough to hold it in the wall just push it in the wall but if you want to be more secure you can use some um, strong adhesive use your E6000 if you want to make sure that it's good and that is it guys just play with different patterns on a flat surface so you can know the design that you want before you put it on the wall okay thank you so so much for watching i appreciate it so so much and i'll talk to you next friday bye bye